16 Things You Didn't Know About Louis Vuitton. Welcome to Luxify. We talk about fashion, travel, money, and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 16 things you didn't know about Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is a French fashion house and luxury goods company founded in 1854 by Louis Vuitton. The iconic LV monogram is one of the most recognizable monograms in the world. It appears in most of its products, ranging from luxury trunks and leather goods to ready-to-wear shoes, watches, jewelry, accessories, sunglasses, and books. Louis Vuitton is one of the world's leading international fashion houses. It sells its products through boutiques, high-end department stores, and e-commerce. From 2006 to 2012, Louis Vuitton was named the world's most valuable luxury brand. In 2020, they had a reported revenue of 17 billion. The company operates in 50 countries with more than 460 stores worldwide. So, without further ado, here are 16 things you didn't know about Louis Vuitton. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxficom. Number 16. Louis Vuitton began his career as a trunk maker when he was 16 years old. At 16 years old, Louis Vuitton left his hometown and moved to Paris, where he got the opportunity to work at the successful box making and packing workshop of Monsieur Maréchal. Quickly, Louis gained a reputation as being one of the best in this field. Then, in 1854, he founded the Louis Vuitton label on Rue Neuve des Capuchins in Paris, where he would craft top quality trunks and travel items. Number 15. Louis Vuitton was the personal box maker of Napoleon's wife. In 1852, Louis Vuitton was hired as the personal box maker of Napoleon's wife, the Empress Eugene of France. That was his big break into the world of the elite. With that title, he became recognized throughout France, and his trunks were a travel must for the French elite. Number 14. Louis Vuitton changed the way people traveled. In 1858, Vuitton introduced his flat-top trunks with Trianon canvas, making them lightweight and airtight. Before this introduction, the trunks had rounded tops and were made of leather. This form was supposed to promote water runoff, but it made it impossible for people to stack their luggage. It was Vuitton's grey Trianon canvas flat trunk that allowed people to stack one on top of the other, which made traveling with luggage that much easier. After that, many luggage makers started imitating Vuitton's style and design. Number 13. The most recognizable LV prints were created to avoid counterfeits. Both Louis Vuitton's famous Damier and Monogram prints were created to avoid copycats. To protect against the duplication of his work, Vuitton changed the Trinon design to a beige and brown stripes design in 1876. By 1885, the company opened its first store in London on Oxford Street, and soon thereafter, due to the continuing imitation of his look, in 1888, Vuitton created the Demier canvas pattern, which bore a logo that translates into L. Vuitton registered trademark. In 1896, the company launched the signature monogram canvas and made worldwide patents of it. Its graphic symbols, including quarterfoils and flowers, as well as the LV monogram, were based on the trend of using Japanese mon design in the late Victorian era. The patents later proved to be successful in stopping counterfeiting. Number 12. Louis Vuitton created a lock that no one could pick. Along with other innovations, such as the waterproof luggage made out of canvas, foldable bags and made-to-order luggage customized for his clients, the brand also developed a lock that no one could pick for their trunks. In 1896, George Vuitton, son of Louis Vuitton, patented a single lock system with two spring buckles. The efficiency was undisputed. 
George was so confident with the quality of the lock that he publicly challenged famed escape artist and illusionist Harry Houdini to break out of a locked Louis Vuitton trunk. Unfortunately for us, history does not record Houdini's response. The lock system is still used by the company today. Number 11. Louis Vuitton started selling handbags in the 1900s. Throughout the 1900s, Louis Vuitton really expanded their business as they started introducing bags next to their famous trunks. One of the first bags ever designed was the big travel bag, the Kipo, in 1930, followed by the Speedy in 1932. Bags like the Noé, Alma and the Papillon followed and are still iconic to this day. Number 10. The Mini Speedy was designed for Audrey Hepburn. The Speedy was originally launched in 1932 as a travel bag. It was a phone call from Audrey Hepburn that gave this bag the iconic form and size we know today. Audrey requested Louis Vuitton to custom make a Mini Speedy for her, so it would be more befitting for everyday use. If you are enjoying this video so far, we strongly recommend you to subscribe to our channel, so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 9. The Alma was originally custom designed for Coco Chanel herself. Another of the most popular Louis Vuitton bags, the Alma has been one of the most sought-after luxury handbags for dozens of years now. Don't you remember the one that Serena carried? Dazzling its clientele with its chic, stylish and sophisticated look and feel, the Alma found its way to the wardrobes of many celebrities. So much so that this was the only bag Coco Chanel ever carried other than the ones of her own creation. Number 8. Louis Vuitton merged with the champagne producer Moet Hennessy in 1987. Moet Chandon and Hennessy, leading manufacturers of champagne and cognac, merged with Louis Vuitton to form the luxury goods conglomerate LVMH. LVMH controls around 60 subsidiaries that each manage a small number of prestigious brands, 75 in total. These include Christian Dior, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, Stella McCartney, Laura Piana, Kenzo, Celine, Fenty, Princess Yachts, Bulgari, and Tiffany & Co. The subsidiaries are often managed independently, under the umbrellas of six branches. Fashion Group, Wines and Spirits, Perfumes and Cosmetics, Watches and Jewelry, Selective Distribution, and other activities. Number 7. Louis Vuitton had their first creative director in 1997. It was only in 1997 when Louis Vuitton appointed their first creative director, the American fashion designer Marc Jacobs, who previously worked for Balenciaga, was hired to introduce Louis Vuitton to the world of fashion. He was hired to design men's and women's ready-to-wear collections, and within a year he released his first collection. Number 6. The 2000s was all about new products. Thanks to Marc Jacobs as the creative director, the first decade of the new century was all about launching new products. The first piece of jewelry was released in 2001, with a watch collection in 2002. He introduced the monogram multicolor canvas range, as well as the monogram vernis and the Mier graphite collections. Marc was responsible for several Louis Vuitton collaborations with other designers, in addition to helping gain a strong celebrity following, which led to many actors, musicians and models that have been the face of Louis Vuitton. Celebrities like Madonna, Angelina Jolie, Bono, Keith Richards and Scarlett Johansson have all been associated with Louis Vuitton. Number 5. All the Louis Vuitton bags are thoroughly tested to ensure durability and user-friendliness. Did you know that the bags are filled with 3.5 kilograms and then dropped by a machine again and again for a total of 4 days? After this crazy procedure, the zipper will be opened and closed 5,000 times. 
And if that isn't enough, the bag will get a full ultraviolet treatment to ensure its resistance to fading. All the Louis Vuitton bags are waterproof and fireproof. All that so we can enjoy our LV products as if we had no care in the world. Number 4. Louis Vuitton is known for their press giveaways. If today giving presents to the press, influencers and celebrities is a common practice, that is due to Louis Vuitton. They have always been keen in maintaining good relationships with high-profile people and are masters in creating fuss and desire by doing that. Haven't you seen the LV Coison bag in social media lately? Or the multiple chat a few years ago? They are also known for giving those presents even before they hit the runway. If you ask me, that is an amazing marketing move. Number 3. The most expensive Louis Vuitton item ever sold was a teddy bear. In partnership with Stiff Bears, this Stiff Louis Vuitton bear was sold for $2.1 million. Stiff Bears are known to be the most expensive bears in the world. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the most expensive teddy bear ever sold was this one in the year 2000 in Monaco. This brand sells the most collectible bears in the world. Can you imagine paying $2 million for a teddy bear? Number 2. Louis Vuitton burns every item that is not sold. It does not feed Louis Vuitton or any other luxury brand to go on sales. Discounts challenge the notions of uniqueness and affordability. So, after every season, if any of LV products are not sold, they are sent back to its factory in France and are shredded or burned. They do that so they don't have an excess of products lying around, what would only decrease their value. It is controversial and wasteful. As the time and effort of people who worked on the bags go to waste, Louis Vuitton also loses potential profit. However, that is the price they choose to pay in the name of luxury. Number 1. Louis Vuitton trunks survived the Titanic. This may be just a legend, but it is said that LV trunks survived almost intact to the sinking of the Titanic. We all know the story, and we can certainly believe that a lot of the elite passengers had Louis Vuitton trunks with them. The legend tells that when divers were looking for the remains of the ship, they found multiple LV trunks in the bottom of the ocean. And not only were they in near-perfect conditions, the interiors were dry as a desert. I can definitely imagine Rose with one of those trunks. That's a wrap on our list of the 16 things you didn't know about Louis Vuitton. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Is there anything we left out of the list? Tell us, which brands would you like to know more about? And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. The most affordable Louis Vuitton handbag sold on their website is this double zip pochette, sold for 1,180 US dollars. Fashioned from Demier Eben canvas with pink leather trim and printed LV signature, this versatile pouch features two zipped pockets and a central open pocket for direct access to essentials. And can I just say, this kind of 2000 style shoulder bag is very in right now and we'll be seeing a lot of it during the spring summer. The most expensive Louis Vuitton handbag sold on their website is this Petite Mall, sold for 6,700 US dollars. The Petite Mall monogram metal is made from calf skin leather adorned with metallic LV and monogram flowers assembled to reproduce a shimmering monogram pattern. The Petite Mall is a Louis Vuitton classic that pays tribute to the iconic trunks. This is one of those pieces that you can afford to pay a little more for, since it will never go out of style. You can find the links for these two bags in the description below. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, we'll provide you the best fashion, travel and luxury content possible. 
See you soon.